Yo, Arx from Prescription Kicks here, man. Back to you today with a contra, contra, controversial topic. As you can see in front of me right now, I got the Jordan 1 Chicago's, but no, these are not the $1,500 valued ones. The OG 1985 Air Jordan 1 Chicago's, no. These are the Air Jordan 1 Chicago mids. No, God, please, no, no! Why? Now, before everybody says like, what the what are you doing, bro? Why do you got any mids, man? That's exactly what I want to talk to you guys today about, man. Now, as you can see, you got this timeless, timeless Chicago colorway with the white, the black, and the red. You can see the leather as well as the classic, classic Jordan 1 sole. Details are almost 100% the same as the high, but as you can see here, it's a Jordan 1 mid. Yes, it's missing that 0.111 centimeter off of its high cut, right? So I'm gonna talk to you guys today about controversial topic of Jordan 1 mids, okay? Now, listen, when you think of Jordan 1s, you think of the OG Jordan 1s, you know? You don't think of the mids, right? Like people just sh on mids. And it's crazy because if you can reconstruct this, change the tongue and whatnot and just make this one centimeter higher, you would have a $1,500 shoe. That just shows like it's up to society to decide what's hype and what's not. A lot of people shit on Jordan 1 mids these days. I myself have the same mindset of it, but really looking into it like 2020, definitely the year of the Jordan 1. You see like the Jordan 1's blowing up all over TikTok. You know what I mean? Everybody wants a pair of Jordan 1's now, whether you're a sneakerhead or just a fan of shoes. It's just a classic silhouette and it's hype and it has value. The tons of colorways, you know, especially the classic colorways, they just skyrocket getting in value right now so i could definitely see why the jordan 1 mids all along on the trend to this day the jordan 1 mids are definitely selling and they're selling out fast take for example these ones right here jordan 1 mid se's suede i mean it looks more so like a lifestyle skater type of shoe than anything right but these surprisingly coming in the union blue and the union red colorways these have been flying off shelves guys they've been selling out if you didn't know Foot Locker, shoe palace like wherever they get them in stores in the malls when they reopen they're gone these days it's crazy like you can actually profit off jordan one mids if you didn't know that my nike plug actually got me a lot of pairs i had a lot of the uh, royal blue colorway they would flip for like 160 to 180 dollars like easy like that like that like that and i'm gonna tell you exactly why that is so we all know that the jordan one retro og its retail goes for around 160. What's the difference when you're paying for a mid, even if its resale value is around 160, you know, you feel like you're getting the same type of shoe. Even then, like these ones right here, the Chicago colorway, retail for most mids around 120, 130, but resale value goes to 160. And I mean, it, it just matches the same price of the retail price of a Jordan 1. Due to the hype of the OG Jordan 1, it's like impossible to get. You can't get those things without a bot or without anything. Like these days, they're so hyped now that you're gonna have to pay resale prices just to get your hands on a Jordan 1. For example, just look at the Mochas, like that release was almost impossible to get. Shipments were coming in late and whatnot and look at values now, they're going for almost double price. The reason being why these mids are selling out is because they're affordable and they're easily accessible to get, you know? If you can get a colorway like this for like a fraction of the price, if these are going for only like 150, 160 and they're the same colorway and almost the same shape as a shoe 10 times its value, what do you expect, you know what I mean? And on top of that, it allows them to revisit into other colorways as you can see here, we got the Jordan 1 band colorway, of course, another mid, but it is in the very clean black and red silhouette. These two are timeless classic colorways right here, but they're just going for fractions of the price. Then another thing is, I think it's really interesting because it allows for Jordan brands to kind of experiment and also test different colorways like this right here. We got the camo gray swoosh. Now these are flying off the shelves as well. You can see it has this camo swoosh right here. Super clean silhouette and whatnot. Like I said, you wouldn't see this back in like 1980, 1990s rocking like these type of colorways. But for the mids, it's like a blank canvas. It allows them to do stuff like this, stuff like this with suede and whatnot. So I think it's very interesting, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm a hater of mids. I hate mids too, but you kind of have to follow the trends and realize where it's going. What I'm trying to say with this is that I believe next year, the value of mids is going to follow the value of the classic Jordan 1s. Reason being is just because of the timeless colorways, it's affordability. More people are just gonna want Jordan 1s. Like the hype is not gonna stop anytime soon. It's just skyrocketing from now on. So if you didn't know, Jordan 1 mids are very, very valuable, very, very profitable. So don't sleep on them. You could check out your local stores, your local malls. They might have some sitting 
and if not then don't be surprised because i'm telling you guys the trend is there and the hype is there right now so don't hate on these things man just because it is missing that little you know one centimeter on the cuff it's missing that little one one centimeter off the cuff man don't be hating on them like i did appreciate the shoes that message being said i just want to conclude with just a statement man that like if you like the shoe just wear it bro don't care what anybody else thinks you know what i mean like it's not a big deal like who cares i know people clown people like if they show up with these on and they're like yo you got mids on like bro like it's never like that it's never like a popularity thing it's never like a hype thing like just because you're cooler because you got you got the og ones with the fucking you know extra inch it's never that serious if you like the shoe and you can afford this one and you're smart about your money and you're like you know what i'm gonna pay 150 for this as opposed to 1500 for the og shoe then so be it you know they're not fakes they're not replicas this is a legit jordan one model uh, that's basically what i want to talk about man very controversial topic but yeah stay tuned for more videos man like comment and subscribe if you haven't already bro we're on the track for 2k subs now so you already know the deal i gotta pump up more videos and whatnot currently got a story sale going on right now so I'm trying to just trying to organize and i figured i'd just talk about this little little controversial topic we out <laughs>